Welcome to MOOC lectures on strategy and introduction to game theory. In this module, we are going to talk about extensive form game with simultaneous move and their normal form representation. We have already learned two different kind of information structure present in any strategic interaction. One is of perfect information, another is of imperfect information. What is perfect information? We already discussed, but just to recap. Players when making any decision know of all the events that have previously occurred, then the information structure, present information structure in the game is of perfect information. And as opposed to this, when players making decision may not perfectly informed about some of or all of the decisions, then it is called that game is of imperfect information. And how do we identify? We look at the information sets, all the information sets of that extensive form game. If all the information sets are singleton, means they contain exactly one and only one node, then we call the game is of perfect information. Otherwise, game is of imperfect information that we did earlier, nothing new. So, what we have learned so far? We have learned different forms of game. First, we learned normal form of the game or simultaneous move game. And then we talked about that how uh, this simultaneous move game is inadequate in representing some of the strategic interactions. So, we learned extensive form game. So, extensive form game can be of two types, one with perfect information, another with imperfect information. So, that we already know. What we are going to do? We are going to take an, a strategic interaction for which we need to draw game tree, but we also need to have, we will see that there might be some simultaneous move present in the game. For example, let us take an entry game with modification. What we have discussed in the entry game? That there is an entrant and there is also an incumbent. Entrant decides whether to enter in the market or remain out of the market. And if entrant decides to enter in the market, then incumbent can decide either fight or accommodate. Now, we are going to, we are talking about a simple modification that once in entrant decides to enter in the market, then both incumbent and entrant, not just only incumbent, but both incumbent and entrant, both the players can engage in costly price war or advertisement war. So, they both can employ these two actions fight or accommodate. How can we model that? So, this uh, game tree you are already familiar with, with the modification. How can we, uh, how can we represent the modification? So, what is happening? Now, after intent decides to enter incumbent and intent both are simultaneously deciding whether to fight or accommodate each other. So, we already know we have seen how to represent prisoner's dilemma in game tree. We can do that here. here. Again, uh, intent will get to move either fight or accommodate, and here also fight or accommodate. And we have to put a dotted line because intent does not know whether incumbent has decided to fight or accommodate. So, this is the way we can represent extensive form game with simultaneous move. Notice whenever we have extensive form game with simultaneous move game is definitely of imperfect information. Why? Because here are two nodes in the same information set. Intrant, when called upon to move in this game at this particular information node, does not know whether this particular node has reached or this node has reached. So, in this information set, we have two nodes. So, that is why game is of imperfect information. Whenever there is an extensive form game, with simultaneous move, we will have a game with imperfect information. Now, the next question is, how can we represent this game in the normal form? Okay? It is a very simple technique that we are going to follow, three steps, three step technique to represent a normal form game, uh, three, three steps to represent an extensive form game uh, in the normal form. The first step is, that derive the number of strategies for each player. Okay? 
Why we are doing that? Remember that in to re represent the normal form game, we have three things. First, list of the player and then strategy set for all the players and then corresponding payoff. So, of course, we have list of the player that is we can clearly get what is the list of player by looking at the game tree. Now, we have to obtain the strategies of different player. In one of the previous modules, I talked about how can we get a strategies for a particular player. So, that is the first stage. The second stage is simply if we have two players draw the normal form table and if we have more players then list all the strategies of different players and get all the strategy profile. And the last step is once you get the table fill the different boxes with corresponding payoff. And of course, when you have more than two players then of course, then, then you will have to list all the payoff corresponding to all the strategy profile. So, let us do that in this case. What do we have? First of all, list of player, entrant as well as incumbent. Second, we have to figure out the strategies of both the player. Entrant gets to move at two different information set. Once at the beginning and second once he decides to enter in the market. So, in the beginning he has two strategy, two actions available to enter in the market or remain out and again he has two strategies either fight or accommodate. So, we can have two multiplied by two four strategies for entrant and what are those four strategies? Enter in the beginning and fight after entering. Second, enter in the beginning or and accommodate after entering. Third one is remain out in the beginning and if given a chance to move again, fight. Fourth, remain out at the beginning and if given a chance again, accommodate. So, these are the four strategies. And how about for the incumbent? Incumbent we will have just two strategies because incumbent gets to move only at one information set and at that information set he has only two actions fight and accommodate. So, we got this list of strategies. Now, how to go about it? We will have to draw the table and what how can we describe it? On row side we can put for entrant and here we can have incumbent okay? and entrant has how many strategies? 4. So, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4 and these are E A which in sort enter in the beginning and accommodate later and similarly E F O A O F and then 2 strategies for uh, incumbent which are fight and accommodate and this is for incumbent. Now, how can we fill the boxes? Let us take how can we get here? O A that entrant is taking act adopting a strategy O A and incumbent is going to fight. So, we have to go back to the table. What we are saying entrant is going to remain out in the beginning and given a chance he entrant would accommodate and incumbent is let us say going to fight. So, right in the beginning as soon as game begins entrant intends to play O A. As soon as he plays O game ends and what he will get entrant will get 0 and incumbent will get 3. So, we can say whenever entrant is playing O A or O F any strategy in which the action at the beginning is remain out no matter what action player incumbent takes outcome is always going to be 0 comma 3, 0 comma 3, 0 comma 3. Fine. Similarly, I will fill for one more if entrant is going to play E F strategy and incumbent is going to play F, what will happen? 
how will the game proceed e intent is going to play e e at this point and f here again we don't know which whether this one will happen or this one will happen we don't know we have no idea which one will happen and of course anyway i have not written the payoff so let me just also write the pay payoffs what would be the payoff let us say just for example here minus 1 minus 1 and here we have half 3 2 and here we have 3 by 2 comma half again these payoffs are immaterial just for illustration i am writing some payoffs so if intrant is playing ef and incumbent is playing f so what is happening here incumbent will take game in this direction and since intrant is playing ef so here f will happen and the payoff will be minus 1 minus 1 here minus 1 minus 1 and similarly you can fill the box and you will get normal form representation of this extensive form game let us do one more example which is slightly more complicated it will give us little bit more idea let us say we have two player and player one can in the beginning take one of the three three action let us name them left center and right here let's say we have player one if player one takes action l then game ends and player one gets a and player two gets b Sorry. and if player one takes action c then player two gets to move and player two can take action either a or b notice that action i am representing by capital letter and payoffs i am representing by small letter so this a small a is the payoff for player one in case player one decides to play l and this a represents the action of player two and let us say if player one takes action c then player one and player two move simultaneously and player two decides either a or b and player two player one decides either x or y so this we can represent it like this again capital it should be capital and if player one decides to play r player two gets to move and player two takes action either p or q in all these cases game ends so what do we have here let us say just random payoff i am writing c d e f g h i z and k l m n this is just a general case how can we represent this game in a normal form what do we have first we have to get the list of player that is very simple list of player only two players p1 p2 now we have to get the strategies of player 1 what are the strategies of player 1 player 1 gets to move has has a play at two different information nodes right at the beginning or here right at the beginning he has three act different action available and at this information set he has two actions available x and y so the total number of strategy for him would be 3 multiplied by 2 6 and what are those 6 in sort i can write lx ly that says play l in the beginning and if you get to play the game here then play x similarly we can interpret other also cx cy rx ry this is the strategy set let me write it as s1 for player 1 and then again we have for player 2 how many player 2 has a play only at two information set one here and one here and at both information sets he has two actions each so he will have a total of two multiplied by two four strategies so which would be ap aq bp and bq now we can draw the table and the table would be again let us say 1, 2, we have L x, 
L y sorry we have then C x C y R x and then let me change the color of the and then we have R y and similarly we have 4 for clear. And which are 4 for player 2? A p, A q, B p, B q. We can write the payoff. One thing is very clear whenever player 1 takes this decision to play L right at the beginning, game ends. So, it does not matter. We can say that okay, payoff here would be A comma B, A comma B, A comma B, no matter what else, what else player 2 is planning to do in this game or what player 1 has planned to do later. So, we get like this. Similarly, if player 1 is playing C x, then let us see what happens. Player 1 plays C here and x here and then if player 1 plays A p, then this if player 1 is playing A c, uh, playing a strategy which has x and c right in the beginning then the second part is immaterial. Whenever it is A, then we will get here C x and A p, it is going to be C d y. Player 1 is going to, what player 1 is going to do? Play C here and x here and player 2 is going to play A here and p here. So, because game is moving in this direction, game will end up at this C d and similarly, you can fill up all the box and just to remind you that you might be wondering that why we are considering L x or L y, because as soon as player 1 plays L, then game ends. So, for that you will have to see one of the earlier module in which I discuss strategies, the different ways, the, 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 the ways we can obtain a strategy for players in the strategic interaction and we have reasons to represent a player's strategy in this manner. Okay. So, I believe now you know you should practice and you would be able to represent any extensive form game in the normal form. Thank you.